you know the number one reason um, somebody leaves a job, leaves a company, an employee would go leave a company? You got it. This is well, absolutely well known, by the way. It's absolutely well known. There is no doubt about it. All HR here, no. Okay. It's not the salary. You think they pay more. This, that, too much work. No. The manager. And this is no surprise. 400% less likely to leave if the manager has good emotional intelligence. Yeah. So it's tied to success, absolutely. Personal success, business success, company success, all that. That's why emotional intelligence is so important. Not to say IQ is not important, not to say uh, all the other stuff is not important, okay? Okay, so I'm just summarizing what could go wrong if emotional intelligence is not present in the workplace or not present at the leadership in the management leadership roles, right? Alignment isn't there. You lose energy. So you need to make effort and work hard, but if you lose energy in the wrong things, then you have less energy available to do the right things, okay? Unnecessary conflict. Conflicts are important. We need to succeed. One person thinks this will lead to success, and another person thinks something else. That conflict needs to be resolved to succeed. You cannot ignore it. But conflicts for other reasons are not necessary. 